when I hear the word vaping, I think nasty. Disgusting. Dangerous. The first word that comes to mind for me when I think of vaping is gateway. Whenever I think of vaping, I think it's as an alternative to smoking. Popcorn lung and how nicotine really does make a big problem in your life. Probably community. I think that vaping provides an opportunity for a lot of teens and young adults to be able to relate to one another. The first word I think about when you say vaping is harmful. I think of teens because I see more teens vaping than I do older adults. The nicotine does take control of your life. The U.S. Surgeon General named vaping a youth epidemic. Serious side effects have been reported, including more than 1,000 cases of vaping-related lung injuries and a death toll that's growing more every day. Vapes can contain nicotine, cancer-causing chemicals, marijuana, and other harmful substances. One single jewel pod can contain as much nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. And using nicotine during adolescence can increase risk for future addiction to other drugs. Chemicals found in vapes can cause depression, anxiety, and other mood disorders. Current vape use increased 78% among high schoolers this last year. And in the beach cities, nearly one in four 11th graders vape regularly. Flavors are the leading reason for youth use. Companies target kids by marketing vape juice and candy and fruit flavors like bubblegum, strawberry, and watermelon. More than 85% of vape users ages 12 to 17 use flavored vapes. Vapes are easy to buy and easy to hide. Four in five Beach City's 11th graders reported it's fairly easy or very easy to get vapes. I'd probably stress that parents make sure not to try to isolate or make their kid feel unloved at home. I want to tell adults that this is a serious matter to having all over the U.S. today and that teens today are in need of support. The best way to understand it is to think of it through a kid's point of view. I would tell adults to tell their children the consequences of vaping because children often hear don't vape but they don't often hear why not to. More kids vape than you think. I think it's always good to just have a full-out conversation where you just talk to each other and don't criticize each other and just talk about the real world effects. I want to tell adults that I think I'll be okay. It's never too early. It's never too early. It's never too early or too late to start the conversation.